Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. This is the Morning Market Prep video for August 12th, 2021. Well, my goodness gracious sakes, we made a decision yesterday that inflation, we don't care. We don't care about inflation. We don't care about a lot of things anymore, as long as it doesn't get in our way of buying up this market. And that's exactly what happened yesterday. We shrugged off those numbers this morning, or yesterday morning, and pushed the market up substantially. And we did see um, that correlation again, where Dow moves up and, and NASDAQ moves down, and that's continuing to happen uh, possibly this morning, ahead of some more data, some inflationary data and things as well coming out. But let's take a look at this chart. Here in the Dow, we've got to give this up to the bulls. The bulls are holding up very, very strong. There is, there just seems to be really nothing we don't, we're concerned about. We're not concerned about rising COVID. We're not concerned about jobs issues. We're not concerned about inflation. It's just buy everything all the time. And I got to tell you guys, the longer that continues, the more and more concerned I become about complacency. When good news makes the market rally that's one thing when bad news makes the market rally that's another and that starts to show me an um, a building of complacency that can be um, a little bit concerning now what i'm going to say is all uh, while that is true stay with the trend stay with the trend of this market continue to party along with this party as long as it continues but I want to caution everyone to be really careful not to become complacent and over trade thinking that this market will never fall. Because believe me, there will be a day where there will be a reckoning. And the, um, the more we push this up, I think the tougher that reckoning will be um, when it occurs. So watch that closely. It is not healthy for a market to continuously rise without retests of support. And that's what we have seen for a long, long time here. How long can this continue? Well, your guess is as good as mine. We could continue for the rest of the year. Um, there's there's uh, no reason why we couldn't. We could continue even beyond that. But what I just want to caution you for is just don't become complacent. Don't chase overextended stocks. Don't get the idea that the market will never fall, preventing you from taking profits and capitalizing on these moves. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, also showing bullishness, hitting new record highs yesterday, pushing up. I will say that I am a little bit concerned that um, volumes are a little bit weak, but we continue to show that bullishness, continue this uh, never ending push to the upside here in the SPY. Now, the SPY had just a little bit of trouble um, moving yesterday. It kind of surged right at the end of the day, um, pushing back up, but a little bit of trouble, and that's just due to um, uh, the big tech um, stocks in the NASDAQ were struggling just a little bit, and they did get a rally right at the end of the day. So SPY continues to be very bullish, stay with the trend. There's nothing in here that suggests um, bearishness just yet. Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ also has been holding up really, really well. We've ho we're holding supports, even though we saw a little bit of a pullback. And although we had some selling pressure coming into the tech giants yesterday, we got a late day surge on those tech giants and that pushed the market back up just a little bit on those. But we're seeing a little bit of pressure on this this morning. If you guys have caught that news, um, um, we have some issues over in the UK. Um, uh, anti-competition things cropping up over there again um, on the big tech giants and um, we have a bipartisan bill that has been introduced in Congress that would really limit or change the way Apple and Google could operate their app stores. So kind of an interesting um, dilemma. We're getting more and more regulation coming in, more and more concern about these 
as the stocks continue to surge to the upside. So watch that carefully. Now, as long as we hold on to support, I think we're in good shape. And as a matter of fact, where I put that price support, I honestly think um, as long as we don't break down below here, um, I think we're in pretty good shape here on the NASDAQ. And we could just, this pullback could easily just find buyers step in and push back up. Now, one thing I will say is what we have seen lately, have we seen this remarkable correlation when um, the Dow moves up, the NASDAQ moves down. And the opposite seems to be true. When the NASDAQ moves up, the Dow moves down. So if we get a bounce in the NASDAQ, watch for the, that Dow to potentially pull back. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM remains the weakest of the indexes. However, it saw a nice recovery yesterday from early selling. It looked like we were ready to really break down here in IWM. But you can't you can't cut out the bulls um, anytime now. Um, nothing seems to phase them for long. It's just get back in and keep buying. So we remain under our 50 day moving average. We have a bullish hammer here. Follow through would be important. And maybe another attack of that 50 day moving average is going to come in play. It's just kind of remarkable how many times we have attacked, attacked, attacked. Maybe this is the one that finally breaks through. Who knows? Um, keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our um, VIX here this morning. Now the VIX dropped nicely yesterday, pulling back. So once again, no fear here in the market, even with bad inflationary numbers. We just don't seem to care. And um, that makes me worry about complacency. Now, as we continue to drop down in here, I have to you continue to have to just stay with the upside trend because the bulls are definitely in control. There is no bearish fear in here. So watch that closely as we approach these lows and approach these support levels, just in case we happen to catch a bounce um, in that um, chart. So just watch that carefully on that support level. Then if we take a look at our T2122, the T2122 indicator pushed up yesterday. So that was, it moved with the direction of the market. That is a good sign. And as you can see, we're reaching that point where we have a little bit more upside before we reach that overbought condition on T2122. And I think there's a good possibility we're heading there. Uh, by the end of the week, maybe even today, uh, pushing up through. It all depends on um, the data that's coming out here this morning, how we respond to that. But watch carefully here. Now, what we have done is we, it, if we find a reason to um, to falter, then we have opened up a pretty big door to the downside here if that does occur. But right now, I just have to say, it's, a, it's almost impossible to short anything um, in this market, although there are a lot of stocks that are um, faltering below their 50-day moving averages, below their 200-day moving averages, but we just continue to press and press and press to the upside there. It's pretty difficult to short. So watch that carefully um, here in this chart as we push up toward those bullish um, reverse or bearish reversal zones. Let's take a look at our T2101. And yesterday we did see a little bit of a pop. One of the things I said yesterday is we don't want to see this bouncing in here on a sell wave. But unfortunately, we had a strong buy wave in the Diamonds and Spy yesterday and barely a push in market breadth. We did move up, which is a good sign, but I got to tell you, um, not overly convincingly um, in that bullish push. So watch that carefully. Um, this continues to be a concern, a worry for me as that market breadth continues to decline and decline and decline um, in this market as we continue to press higher and higher and higher. If we take a look at just the, the remarkable divergences that we have here in the three major indexes, um, with that market breadth. You have to have just a little bit of caution come into your thinking saying one day, one day this could um, have that reckoning and um, we pop that bubble 
and um, it deflates very quickly so watch that close and then if we take a look at our t2107 i've mentioned this a couple of times we did see that tick a little higher yesterday so just a few more stocks came up um, above their 200 day moving averages but notice we have just been in a massive down trend here um, with more and more stocks slipping below their 200 day even as we continue to reach higher so that just gives me that clue that as this as this um, market continues to stretch and more stocks are sliding down that if it does break if it does break it can move really quick so watch for that and just make sure you're planning for that possibility and avoid that complacency let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar has a couple things we're going to want to pay attention to uh, this morning first off we have jobless claims coming in now we have seen recently where we've had jobless claims come in higher than expectation and again we don't care um, jobs don't seem to matter um, as much as they used to inflation doesn't seem to matter um, until kind of suddenly they do um, so we can continue to ignore for a period of time but eventually that might creep up on us now if the jobs numbers come in better than expected of course that's bullish and we will react bullishly to that number uh, PPI will be an interesting number this morning producer prices we had the consumer prices showing inflation producer prices could be another metric that we want to pay attention to but if we can ignore high consumer prices and don't care um, there's no reason to believe we can't ignore higher producer prices and and not care so just keep a close eye on those as they come out here this morning the market could shift around uh, before the open we have the natural gas report and we have the fed balance sheet which nobody cares is over eight and a quarter trillion um, just keep printing so let's um, move on here and let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar now our earnings calendar we have a busy day on the calendar with a lot of companies listed but we have a large number of them as unconfirmed reports and that typically happens as we slide into you know the toward the end of earnings season here we get a lot more of the small caps um, uh, coming in to report and uh, oftentimes they slip their reports and continue to slip their reports so we'll have a lot of stocks listed that may or may not report um, so today we have over 260 companies listed on the calendar but again we have a large number of those that um, wouldn't exactly be market movers and could uh, push those reports on out um, for you know a few more days or even weeks so um, um, we'll want to keep a close eye on that and then um, for the for the reports that are interesting this morning um, I've made a list of notables and then you can find them if you click the link just below the title of the video take you back to the morning blog and you'll be able to um, catch that full list of notable reports let's take a look at a few of them that we want to be paying attention to and then um, move on let's take a look at disney now disney will be reporting today this one could be an interesting report we'll want to keep a close eye on that i was looking for this um, as as what this broke this downtrend to the upside i was looking for this to maybe continue on up but boy this just fell out of bed um, struggling here pretty hard so watch this carefully this could be an interesting um, report to see whether or not Disney um, can break through and start moving back up or if we continue to struggle in this overall downtrend on Disney how about um, Airbnb um, Airbnb will be reporting today we'll want to keep an eye on that one this has been moving in a substantial downtrend here on the chart but notice we have just recently 
popped above that downtrend and we're trying to hold it as support. So this could be a really important earnings report, whether or not we shift to the upside or if we lose that downtrend support and begin to break down. So watch that one. And we um, will also be hearing from Baidu. Now, I gotta tell you, any of the Chinese issue stocks um, have been struggling a lot um, with all of the um, crackdown and things like that over in China. So be really careful with these. But Baidu has been in this um, protracted, ugly uh, downtrend here and looks like it might be moving just a little bit lower this morning as well so watch that closely so make sure you click that link and go over to the blog to pick up the rest of those earnings reports let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post a video and also do me a favor and crush that um, like button, leave those comments. Um, that helps a ton, um, helps the algorithms to show these videos to more folks. So even the briefest of comments counts, it just shows the engagement in the video. And so thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much to those folks who continue to take advantage, uh, or I shouldn't say take advantage, but support the channel through the buy me a coffee link which once again there's a link just below the title of the video thank you so much to everyone who does do that you guys are truly truly awesome and i really appreciate it let's take a look at some stocks setting up now before we do that just kind of keep in mind that as we look at these stocks these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you have to do your own due diligence and you need to be focused in on the risk of these trades and determine whether or not they are right for you now a couple um, charts that we were looking at yesterday in right way options and um, at, some folks uh, picked those up really good looking charts take a look at fastenal fastenal beautiful looking chart had a nice bullish day yesterday pushing up off of this support right off of this trend and by the way guys this is one of my favorite uh, trade patterns where we hold at support we hold at trend and then those buyers step up nice looking chart now I can't tell you whether or not this will continue to extend to the upside but keep an eye on that fasten all beautiful looking chart and um, night very nice pattern and when I talk about not being um, complacent or chasing um, overextended stocks what I'm talking about is not chasing a stock that's up multiple days in a row. Um, what I'm talking about is finding these stocks that are making these reactions, as you can see this price alert in here, making these reactions right off of a price support and trend level. That gives me a low risk entry on that trade rather than those stocks that have already really stretched themselves to the upside. So these are very suitable trades, even in an extended market, because we're taking low risk entry trades. Hope that makes some sense to you. And then if we take a look at some other charts looking good take a look at DHI now DHI kind of stretched out you can see there was a price alert right there on that chart but yesterday it got really busy here after it broke through some resistance in the chart and pushed up so this would be an example of a chart at this point that you don't want to chase we're already extended in that move to the upside and, and the reason i say that is the risk to your stop loss on this is substantial so when we see a chart like this the best thing to do is put this chart in a list if i were to mark this current trend right in here and just now wait for the next entry into the trade if this can rest or pull back consolidate i'd look for that next entry into the trade that would provide me that low risk entry rather than racing in and kind of chasing a move that's already extended in that stock but dhi beautiful chart looking very very good i'd keep a pretty close eye on that oracle continues to set up you can see this is one of those charts that sets up nicely here um, i have to kind of ignore 
this little outlying area right here but this is a nice little upside trend and notice we're holding in here on support and just kind of sliding out here toward this trend this is a pattern i call pop out of the box where we have this nice little tight consolidation we're laying across this support and trend and i'm looking for that next inspiration in here where that might pop and move to the upside so keep an eye on oracle it's looking pretty darn good in here another chart i'm going to have to say cisco is looking really good along those lines notice that it's been resting here recently and i think that's a good thing um, we have this longer term trend here and the possibility of a shorter um, upside move but the the thing that's important in here is once again we broke through price resistance we're holding in the support area we have a nice little tight consolidation so looking for that inspiration to maybe pop on through and move to the upside in that chart nice looking chart to keep an eye on if you guys are looking for something short take a look at PayPal PayPal um, pretty nice chart pattern here for a failure um, we will call this oftentimes in um, right way options this is a, a bearish H pattern and if you take a look at we're also failing at our 50 day moving average so we have this pattern where we push down then we rally up and we start that process that bearish H that failure pattern um, occurring in the chart now what's cool about charts like this is if we really focus in on the price action there's clues out here that can help us out if we look right across here notice that we could be failing at this price resistance over here in the chart and we still above have additional price resistance in that chart uh, to deal with and then um, once again looking at that 50-day moving average this is a pattern that we call the blue ice failure as well where we fail through the 50 we rally back up test that as resistance and then that possibility of us moving back down and moving toward that 200 day moving average so keep an eye on paypal if you're looking for a short trade definitely a nice little chart to be watching now um, we had kind of um, an interesting day in energy yesterday we had energy um, starting down in the morning um, with the president asking opec to uh, up production and then we saw um, the petroleum status number come in and that supported current prices so we started down started back up but i have to tell you once again we're pushing up through price resistance or two price resistance in that chart and notice we're well below our 50-day moving average in energy and our 50-day moving average is declining so i would watch this pretty carefully as we approach resistance this actually could set up some more downside here eventually so watch that carefully and closely a couple other places you might want to take a look and this would be a little bit more speculative again another chinese issue stock nio produced an earnings report yesterday where they narrowed their loss with a surge um, in their earnings so keep a close eye on this i've been talking about this one for a while and that is we've been kind of stuck underneath this resistance level in that chart and this is kind of one of those media darlings right now if it can gain a little support little energy it could pop through that and then we can maybe begin some more upside here in that chart but i wouldn't rule out the possibility notice this little price support in this tight consolidation if that were to falter and fail down here then we would start looking for more downside in nio so keep a close eye on that so there's a few stocks for you to add to your list and maybe watch take a look at I want to wish everyone a fantastic day and great results in your trading. We'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.